Hi everyone, welcome to uh, my channel. Today I'm going to be opening um, a box of Maximum Gold. Uh, this set was just released uh, today and um, I have an entire case here, a display box. Um, but I also have two more opened boxes for you guys. So I'm going to go through and open up all these boxes. And um, if you're thinking of going and buying these in uh, stores, uh, do hit up your local game shop. Uh, if they have the promotion, you will get one of these. If they have supplies, at least. It's pretty nice. Spooky dog. Okay, so let's get into this opening. Okay, so each display comes with uh, five of these. Uh, and inside each of them, you get four packs. Um, I have 28 packs in total here for you guys to uh, watch me open. And uh, hopefully we get some good pulls. I know there's a lot of good reprints. Like, not even just the gold rares, but like the rares that are in the pack that are gold. Like, the you'll see when I open them. But there's a lot of good, like, pack filler. Um, I wouldn't even consider it pack filler. I think every single card in here is pretty decent. Um, they are, are, they are reprints, so, you know, you can get them in higher rarities, but I feel like this is pretty good of a set. Um, so I'm just going to get going opening and we'll see, uh, how these, uh, new gold cards look. Pack number one. Okay, we got Dragon's Mirror. Great reprint. Drowning Mirror Force, Chaos Levenier, look at that beauty, so like all the cards in here they're a little glossy, but also you can like feel the texture on them, like all the gold is raised up a bit, even in the stars here, I wonder how that looks in a sleeve, I don't have any right now, just to uh, pull out, but maybe I'll show it to you guys later in the video. Totally awesome, another good reprint. And I, I kind of really like that gold lettering. It almost looks like uh, bronze. Like it's pretty cool. Like the, the, the picture on these ones, they're uh, common, but um, they have like the rare printing here. Okay, and our second gold rare, we got uh, Stard Stardust Charge Warrior. This card's great, especially with some of the decks that are coming up. You can use this in um, the Virtual World deck. It's a great level 6. You get to draw a card. Plus it lets you go into some rank 9s. Or level 9s. My bad. Ooh. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Buffalo. This card is also a good reprint, surprisingly. You wouldn't think so, but uh, if you read its effect, it's pretty good. Uh, pretty much if you have this card in your graveyard and you have uh, Fire Fist Eagle, you can uh, just special summon this card from your graveyard for free. And uh, you can use it for Link Plays. Or Exceed Plays. It's a great level 4. Mage Power. Uh, this is probably one of the worst cards in the set, but it's still pretty decent. Okay. Flame Buffalo. We just got this as a common in OTS uh, packs, but uh, I guess if you're not able to obtain OTS packs, this is a great reprint for it to get. Coyote. Unexpected Die, another good reprint. Normal Knights of the Round Table. Okay, this is what, like a bad card. <laughs> I don't know why this is in here. Um, Infinite Impermanence, another good reprint. Like, And look at that. Beautiful. Some people hate gold rares, but like, look, look, even in the trap, it's pretty good. And the beauty of it is like, it's hard to tell, but this is gold in the trap. And it's raised, like you can feel that. Beautiful. Great reprint. Oh, another one. Droll and Lockbird. This is the, the alternate art. There's a lot of different cards with alternate art in here. Like, um, I got this uh, Levineer in the first pack, but uh, you can get a, the alternate art version of it also in gold. And um, I think you have like even amount of chance to get both of them. That's great. Too bad I'm not going to use this. I have all these. <laughs> 
Oh, and, and the bear statues, they're also great reprints. Um, if you're buying this and you pull any of the fire, uh, the water, uh, earth, or the wind one, they're all pretty good. Probably not the fire one. There are, the dark and the light one, probably the, some of the worst ones, but just because, you know, they're, they're so accessible. Um, you know, everyone uses light cards, everyone uses dark cards. It's not the best. Mike Bean. Parlor Dragon Maid. This card was spiking in price, but uh, and now that I got a reprint, you know, it's kind of going down. Trap Tricks Mantis. Trap Tricks. Sorry. Star. Trick Star Reincarnation. You're good with the good with the drill and lock bird. Rip their hand out of there. Spooky Dog. So, you know. Just got this. You can see the difference between the two. One has the nun hat and one doesn't. Um, both have the dog though, which is the main point. Uh, who needs girls? Uh, DD Warrior Lady. Looks like I do. Damn it. Uh, number 101 Silent Honor Arc. Another good reprint. Not Doesn't see that much play anymore, but this career was great back in the day. Okay. New pack. Okay, let's see what we get in here. Okay, another barrier statue. Like, if you're aiming for, if you want, like, look through your stuff for these. Uh, the wind one is really great. I'm gonna post a video in the future explaining uh, why it's great. Um, plus, it's like the easiest one to pull out. No one plays winds. Um, I think it's just an amazing card. Uh, oh, there we go. Water. It's great. Uh, the water one's also really accessible, but um, only in like certain decks. Like you can pull this out in Mermills. Lose one turn. Like these things, they're they're horrible to play against, but they're great to play. Um, lose one turn, a great trap. Oh, there we go. Eldritch the Golden Lord. I wouldn't mind pulling more of these. Uh, get a play set of them. They look amazing. Uh, when when they announced gold, I, I was really hoping this card would be one of the ones that uh, got a reprint, just because it was like a ridiculous price. Like I I, I pulled those and I was like, eh, you know, it's not worth holding on to. Might as well uh, sell them and wait for the reprint. And uh, I'm glad I waited because this looks amazing. Oh, and another good card, Red Eyes Black Dragon. Any Joey fans out there? Uh, this card is seeing a lot of competitive play with the uh, Dragoons, but uh, uh, I just like it as an old classic card. It's probably my favorite out of Red Eyes, Dark Magician, and uh, Blue Eyes. Tuning. A good reprint. And uh, Sacred Sword of Seven Stars. Good for uh, any deck playing level 7s. There's a lot of hand traps in this uh, set, and uh, most of them have um, the alternate arts as well. I would suggest if uh, anyone's looking to like just buy singles, and you don't have hand traps, this is a good way to just get a bunch of really nice looking ones. Uh, Lost World, good upgrade. Uh, not really an upgrade, it's kind of like a, a downgrade, but it's still not bad. Anyone that doesn't want to pick up the structure decks, speaking of structure decks, Union Hanger. For ABCs. Another good deck, especially if you're just starting out, you can le learn the plays in this. I would suggest it. Boral Sword Dragon. This box is just amazing. Um, this is the alternate art. Japan had it for a while, I think, but uh, this is our first time seeing it. Amazing card. Once again, I I'd pick this up if you don't have it. It's a pretty good price on it. And there we go. Favorite of the wind uh, of the statue is the wind one. Look at that. Neither player can special summon monsters except wind. Who plays wind? Harpy Harpy players out there, like the video, please. Machine duplication. Great card. Polarization. Anyone remember this card from the anime? Like it. It's great. Some of that blue eyes ultimate. Planet Pathfinder. Another good card. I am never gonna play this card. I don't. I don't like it. 
I don't think it's that great. Tribute this card to add one field spell from your deck to your hand. Okay, I can play terraforming. I can play other cards that search the field spells that I want to search. It's not the greatest, but yeah, you know it's something. Don't hate me for that. If you like that card and you play it, you know, do you, but it's not something I want to play. Not in my decks. Okay, first of the Marnarchs. For that Marnarchs getting off the ban list. Extra Foolish Burial. Probably one of the other bad cards in the set, but you know there's so much good ones that you can't really complain. Feather Duster. Oh my god. Okay, look at that. Just off the ban list. And we got it nice and gold. Dang. I'm sorry if my light's doing a bad job of showing this, but like... Damn it. It looks good. Silent Angler. Shared Ride, another decent card. These are cheap enough, you know, just pick up three just to have polarization again. I wouldn't mind getting one more of these as well. Just thinks this looks badass. I'd, I'd use these as, uh, as my polarizations if I use them in a deck. Any Fluffle players out there? I don't even know if they use this. Terraforming. Reprinted in like every set. It's still not bad. It's a good card. If you don't have it, if you're a new player, you know, you pull one of those. Just make sure you keep a hold of it. It's probably going to get another reprint in the future, but it's still a good card to have. Okay, one of the Noble Knights. Noble Knight Dryston. This card, I think, this, this is its first reprinting. Pretty decent coming in a cheaper form. Another Feather Duster. Wow, that's pretty good. I, I know it's limited, but like I don't mind pulling more of these. Oop. Draw this card. Wind statue. Wouldn't mind more of these. Like I you know, you don't need to play more than one, but it's still pretty good. Synchron carrier. It's from the structure deck. Reinforcements of the army. Got marauding captain right there. Or marinating captain if you choose. Set Rotation, another great card. Uh, and De Lady Debug, this needed a reprint. It's pretty good. Uh, you know, I, I can't complain about this set. I feel like all the reprints are useful if you don't have them. I feel like uh, this set is worth the money buying. Um, I don't know about buying in bulk or in, like investing in the set, you know, super huge amounts. If you can pick up certain cards for, for super cheap, hell yeah. Um, Lost World into Meltdown. This is the second time we get Field Spill into Field Spill, but I'm not complaining. Um, this is a good card. Uh, it's cheap, but like, you know, I think it was spiking up in it for a while. Starlight Junction, another Field Spill. Number 74, Master of Blades. I, I don't, you know, I, I don't think this card's great, but I think it looks amazing. It looks cool. Wouldn't, I, I wouldn't even mind this in the Gold Rarity. Just to see how it would look. Elder Entity Netus. This card's amazing right now. You play this in uh, a whole lot of decks. Can play this. Um, I've seen it a lot in uh, Eldritch. My friend plays it in his deck. He, he gets it pretty good. And also in um, Dogmatica. If you plan on playing those decks, you know, this card's pretty good, I think, to get it. I think I got a little bit of a misprint there. Anyone else see that line there? Nice blue line. There we go. I think my foil's off. Not bad. Not bad. If that is considered a misprint to anyone out there, you know, don't be afraid to hit me up. Get that extra money. Cosmo Town. I got a line through that. I guess they didn't do the best printing job on these, but they still feel pretty good. And I guess it's new to what Konami usually does. Probably won't see this again in another set. If they do it again, you know, good on them. Oh, this card was great. Dark Worlds. Dark World Dragon Lord. Greffa. That's a decent reprint. Especially in a lower rarity like that. This bag does not want to open. There we go.
Okay, Eater of Millions. Dark Lord Contract. Contact, my bad. Oh, Herald of the Arc Light. This is a great synchro. Very Statue of Torrent. Layer of Darkness. I feel like they reprinted every single field spell that's been in a, a structure deck in this. Dark Rebellion Dragon. It's hard to read the, the gold print on this, on the name. Yeah, it still looks good though. Great for the Phantom Knights. This card like spiked up because there was like it was hard to get, not the best, uh, like no good rarity, um, cheap wise. But it, uh, I think this is gonna cool down the market on that. Um, and then we got this guy here. I, I've seen this guy in the past. I just never read his name. Super Dimensional Robot Galaxy Destroyer. You know, they could have just called him Zord. Gundam. But, you know, I guess that's a name. I guess it's a name. Don't know if he's any good. Rank 10. Use him in rank 10 trains. I don't know. <laughs> don't play the deck. Don't ask me about it. Not yet, at least. I don't know. In the future. Okay, another Eater of Millions to start the pack. Oh, and we got Beatrice. I feel like she only gets reprinted in gold, and I'm not complaining. Look at that. Almost looks ghost, but has the lines through it. I'm trying to focus on that. Look at that. Beautiful card. Not a bad reprint. Especially for any uh, BA players that want to play her. Shared Ride. The Monarchs Erupt. A great card for Draco. Red Eyes Black Dragon, not complaining about getting a second one of him. Look at that. Lady Debug. Storming Mirror Force. I feel like the Mirror Forces are all in here too, which isn't bad either. If you guys uh, are enjoying the video, uh, like and subscribe. I'm trying to uh, get the channel up. I, I want to post regularly, deck lists and everything. Um, more card openings, obviously. But, uh, you know, there cannot only be one YouTuber out there that you subscribe to. So feel free to uh, subscribe to me if you would like the video, at least. You know, leave a comment. Oh, keep on dropping them. They're uh, super slivery cards. Uh, Boral Sword Dragon. Another one of the alternate arts. It's pretty good. Like, even the arrows here, they all have texture to them. It's pretty nice. Modolce Hoot Cake. This card was uh, going up in price, too. I think Modolce's is a decent deck. Um, you know, could use maybe a couple more cards, but it, it has plays. Like, to the Modolce players out there that kept it from day one of it coming out, good on you. Nice art, too. Cute. Number 107. Dryden. Look at her. Try to focus her. Set rotation. Dryden is like, you know, great card. By the way, <laughs> if you didn't know that, of course everyone does. Um, there's a reason why it was on the ban list for a while. Also, look at. I don't know if you can see that, but all the blue in the card, look at that. All the blue in the card, it shows up uh, great in the reflective surfaces. I feel like the XYZs look amazing in this. It's hard to read their names, but they it did a good job of printing these. Set Rotation and DD Warrior Lady. Good for GOAT players. I feel like that's the only reason why she, they put them in here. For all the GOAT players that uh, don't have a DD Warrior Lady or want at least an upgrade from the common. Um, and if you don't have a super. The first Monarch. Bar Barrier Statue Inferno. 
Monster Reborn. A lot of people like the, the Japanese art of this. Uh, I'm glad that ours is like this. It's just very nostalgic for me. And um, I don't know. I, I, I have the Japanese art in, uh, from the Lost Arts. I don't use it. I'd rather use this thing. And I have it opened. I, I traded for that thing. And I, I just choose not to use it. Um, Synchron Carrier again. Shared Ride. Utopia the Lightning. Another great card. This card was used in the meta a lot. Might see some more play. Uh, we are getting Utopia support, if uh, you didn't know about it. Uh, Dimensional Prison. This seen so much play back in the day. Scared to attack into the back row, just in case your monster gets removed. Ooh, upside down. Okay, White Prince. And we are getting uh, Skull Server support, so this getting reprinted is pretty good. I think it was going up in price too because of it. Um, there can only be one. Harpy Pet Phantasmal Dragon. Just for, I wonder, nope, we're going to get this one as a lost art too. Sad days. Uh, Rank Up Magic, the seventh one. Ash Blossom. Okay, I'm not I'm not sad to see her. Ash Blossom is like one of those cards that just never goes down in price. Like, if you see this for like two, three bucks, just pick them up. I, I, I never see this card going below maybe the $8 mark. Like, even it came in common, it was 5 bucks, and now the structured decks are like 30 because of the fact that the, the Ash Blossom is 15 bucks. It's ridiculous. Look at that. Gold on the fire and everything. It's hard to see. Sorry about my camera. Mind Control, another good reprint. And uh, this crow, it's a little bent at the top there. What's that? I guess from packing. That crows from a, a structure deck as well. Okay, we got Coyote, Night Beam. This is a good reprint. It came in a uh, secret and uh, I think it dodged the Megatons. So I'm glad that it's in here and this card's great in, um, uh, in use with Lopter in uh, Generators. Stardust Charge Warrior with a little bit of a bend there. That's disappointing. Oh, another Red Eyes Black Dragon. And third one, I'm I'm very glad I got these. I, I had a friend, he he told me that he didn't get any of the three. Uh, Dark Magician, uh, Red Eyes, or Blue Eyes White Dragon when it came to these sets. And uh, he was disappointed. I guess I'll, I'm going to give him one. I got three of them. Hopefully I pull another one for him. Um, hey, Trunade. I love this card art. It's a giant Trunade. Reminds me of the Kool-Aid Man, though. Link Karibo. Like, giant Trunade as a Kool-Aid Man is actually my uh, Discord picture. It's pretty funny. Uh, Link Karibo. A good reprint. Hey, it looks like we're about halfway done. I'm going to try to speed through these, but if we see anything that uh, I should talk about, I, I will. Um, another Trap Tricks. Extra Foolish Burial. Gaia the Dragon Champion. Look at that. Another iconic card. Just great. And I think that the foil has shifted on this one too a bit. You know, those blue lines, if you can see it. Dark Lord Morningstar. Anyone here watch Lucifer? A good show. Another Stardust Charge Warrior. Dimensional Prison. Tuning. Move these aside. Pile shifting over. <laughs> okay. So let's see what else we can get in here. Turn that back up right now. 
Oh, call by the grave. You know, it's it's, it's limited now, but uh, it's not a bad pull. The Monarchs Erupt. Another totally awesome. Don't mind getting two of these. Ghost Reaper. Probably, like, the worst out of all the hand traps. But, you know, it's still really good, depending on the format. I'd keep three of these if you don't have them. Look at this line. So many of them have it. This is, like, the foils just shifted down. Yeah, it's weird. Um, oh, another good reprint. Kitchen Dragon made. These things were, like... Hitting 100, and then they were slowly going down. And then when they announced the reprint, everyone got rid of them. Because I guess the deck's not that great, but uh, I wouldn't mind playing it, trying it out. Probably try it out online before picking up the rest of it. Trap Tricks Marmello. Probably one of the best Trap Tricks. Anybody remember Hand? Um, hand Trap Tricks? Hat? Uh, artifact. Hand? Artifact? Trap Tricks. Foolish Burial Goods. This card is pretty good right now, too. You can play this in uh, the Virtual World deck. It's a decent reprint for the timing. Then again, you don't have to. I've been playing around with it. I, I took them out of my Virtual World deck. I don't think it's necessary. You, you send the cards to the graveyard no matter what. Um, Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Coyote. Union Scramble. Parlor Dragon Maid. This card's going to be uh, pretty good when the new Arm Dragon support come out. Uh, so if you pull these and you plan on playing the deck, uh, you know, I suggest holding on to them so you don't have to pick them up again in the future. Morningstar. Cosmo Dark Destroyer. This card's annoying to deal with. Dimensional Prison. And tuning. Some of these packs they don't want to open. Like, look at that. I feel like they did better on the packing than they did on some of the cards here. <laughs> I've seen a little bit of dings, but uh, they look good. It's just that the dings show up so much on these uh, gold cards. I really like them, but if, if that's the case. Another call by the grave, though. Alistair the Invoker, the alternate art, looks pretty good. Utopia Beyond, Starlight Junction, another Cosmo Dark Destroyer. Surprised they didn't reprint Dark Lady. I don't think they did in this. I didn't really look too much at the set, but um, Dark Lady, Tin Can... Um, Scarecrow, they didn't, I don't think they reprinted any of that, but they reprinted some of the cards. They didn't even reprint, like, Slip Rider, um, which is sad, because they were all in the last Gold Series, I believe. They were in one of them, and um, I think maybe Dark Destroyer was, like, one of the only ones that wasn't in there. And, like, they're, they're all low rarity, too, except, you know, the Secrets, you know, that's fine, but... Uh, oh, well. Link Rebo? terraforming for anyone who wants to complain about the cosmo reprints you know it's a cool deck star wars and uh two iconic movies star wars and the wizard of oz put together and then just put them into a concept of the deck like the concept is pretty cool um silent honor or dark drowning near force starlight junction i wonder what that trap is anyone want to read that real quick <laughs> I think you know what it is. <laughs> Ooh. Um, number 74, Master of Blades. And yep, you guessed it. Infinite Impermanence, my second one. Well, dust. That's a good. That's a, that's always a good pull. If you pull one of these in any pack, it's pretty good. Chalk and Iron, another good reprint. I actually picked up these right before this set uh, got out. Um... Not regretting it. I, I like the gold, but I'm probably going to stick with the supers. But I have a couple friends that might need these. So maybe I'll just throw them their way. 
And look at that. It, it shows up kind of like black on camera. But it's not. It's gold. And another uh, graph. I feel like I'm, I'm doing pretty good in the boxes on what I pulled. Um, not going to put best unboxing. I'm pretty sure someone probably pulled better than me. I've I seen like a... Uh, some nasty um misprints in this like where like the entire card here is just covered in gold and you know they, they go for a pretty penny of uh, extra foolish burial uh number 101 forbidden chalice is a great reprint um if you don't have these or you want them in a higher rarity than uh, common and you don't want to afford the alties um this is a great card to put in your side deck or main, I'm not judging. Uh, machine duplication. Oh, there we go, Dark Magician. Or as the Spanish say, I'm not saying that. Um, the ultimate wizard in terms of attack and defense. Too bad uh, Blue Eyes is better. Unless you're playing Dark Magician. But, uh, you know, I, I pulled this, and then I also pulled uh, the Red Eyes. I might use those uh, when I summon um, Dragoon's Index. Again, with the line at the top there. Look at that. Just, just right across the top here. Planet Pathfinder. And Mistaken Arrest. Oh, poor Sangan. Don't worry, bud. You're off the ban list. You're just uh, a little bit worse. I think they, like, uh, probed him. Sad days. Pot of greed up there. All iconic cards on there. If you were playing back in the day, uh, you love and hate those cards. Mostly love, though. Union Hanger. Bear Statue of Inferno. Nurse Dragon Maid, another one of those cards that were a little bit expensive, but uh, went down in price after reprinting. Master of Master of Blades, another hand trap, nice. Ghost Ogre, Snow Rabbit. Sky Place Gargania. And uh, another field spell. Oh, no, no, not the field spell. Circle of the Fire Kings. This is a pretty decent card. Okay. Looks like we only have a, a couple of packs left here. It looks like six. At this point, I, uh, I want a Blue Eyes uh, just to complete the set of three uh, for my binder. And uh, a couple more, maybe Impermanence. We haven't seen Appaloosa yet. Um, and, uh, the Golden Lord. Uh, I, I do want to play a set of those. I don't know if I'm going to pull it, but let's find out. Um, Mecha Phantom Beast Draco Sack. Great card. Great card. He's an airplane and a dragon with a hummingbird on his back. Great card. Um, Buster Blader. Ooh. Ticking Tom Borg. I wonder if uh, Terra Top's in here. But this is a great reprint. Laundry Dragon Maid. I was, I was worried about here, but that's just the pull above. Uh... Yeah, that's just the pull above the, the bed. Or I guess the drying rack. Kagari. The Sky Striker players out there. Silent Honor Arc. And I've seen this before. I never read the card. Look at that line. Straight out of pack, guys. Near Mint. Looks like someone cut it. Number C107. Neo Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon. Okay, move these off to the side. My tile, uh, my my pile is falling all over because these cards are too, really slippery. 
Okay. So now we're down to six bags. White Prince. It's one bird. Um, there can only be one. Monster Reborn. Madolce Knights. Miracle Contact. Droll and Lockbird. And then Terraforming. Yeah, these cards are like really slippery. If you don't put them in sleeves, I don't know how you would be able to play with them in the decks. I guess, you know, there's a reason why sleeves are around, but like... You know, for, for like the school ground games back in the day, yeah, every, everything was the same, but like if you play with these and, and now, cards are just me slipping everywhere. Uh, do not play without sleeves, please. I ask you that. Trade in. Magical Meltdown. Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion. And all the corners on this one. Bad out of pack. Who kick? Number 107 Galaxy Eyes. Oh, and there we go. Too bad uh, the corner's necked on this one. Let's get this. Will be my personal copy. Um, yeah, look at that. Uh, Appaloosa, Bow of the Goddess. This is the alternate art. She, she She's missing her bear. And uh, Sky Place, Guardiania. I, I know I'm pronouncing that wrong. Um, well, you know, I'm, I'm never going to play it, so. And if I do, you know, I'm just going to come up with a fun name for it. Scrap Recycler, good reprint. Go, 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 Gigas. Um, if anyone's played Maple Story and remember the golems from Maple Story, this is what this guy rem uh, reminds me of. Mistake. Elder Entity Netus. Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion. This is the, the regular. The last one we got was the alternate. Um, Bear Statue of the Abyss. And this card here. Okay. So yeah, you use this in um, Eagle. You get this out as a free summon. You just have to put it in the graveyard somehow, but it's pretty easy. Okay. Queen of the Night. Taking Tomborg. Synchro Carrier. Anti-Magic Arrows. This card needed a reprint, but I don't know how good it is. Um... At the start of the battle phase for the rest of the turn after this card is uh, resolved, neither player can activate spell or trap cards or their effects. Neither player can activate cards or effects in response to this activation. You know, you just go to main phase two. If, if they had plays in main phase two, then, you know, they, I guess they just skip them, set the cards they need to. But if they have, like, if, if it's on your turn, you know, I guess you can use this uh, at the start of the battle phase so they can't activate back row, but... You can't do anything after uh, after that with your spells. I, you know, it's a good reprint, but I don't see it seeing any play. Oh, okay. Nibiru came in. Look at that. I don't have any of the alties, but uh, I'm glad to get uh, glad to get one of the gold rares. Look at that. Great card if you don't have three of these, uh, pick them up just to have in your side deck or main them. Circle of the Fire Kings and Mecha Phantom Beast Blue Impella. Okay, we're down to our last two packs. Okay, you've got Gigas. Another Beatrice. Medulce Knights. Condemned Witch. Host Dra House Dragon Maid. 
Okay, here we go. Mega Phantom Beast, Colt Wing. Great card. Sacred Sword is seven stars. Okay, guys, on to our last pack. Can we get that last pack luck? Okay, Dristan. Tachyon Transmission. Oh, Transmigration. Harpy's Feather Duster, our third one. Definitely don't need three, but, uh, you know, don't mind getting them. Medulgy Knights. Lose one turn. And for our last gold rare, Anti-Magic Arrows. And Blue Impala. Okay, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please uh, give me a like and subscribe. You don't have to, but it would help me out with the channel. Um, I do want to post more videos for you guys, but uh, I would like feedback. So if you can leave a comment, uh, let me know how I did in the video. Or, um, you know, tell me about how you think the cards are here. Because like, I, I think this card here, you know, it's a beauty. Okay. So guys, um, have a good night. Or day, depending on when you watch it. And remember, love yourself.